Hi and welcome to Virtual Vagi. My name is Carlos and you can find me at virtual Uh This video here, I'm actually going to show you how to set up your orchestrator lab for the VCAP CCA exam, um, in particular Objective 8.2, which is actually a configuration of Virtual Center. I did have some issues configuring this, so I thought I'll, I'll, I'll dedicate a video to actually get your lab up and running when it comes to this product. First thing you've got to do is you've got to go and start the service for the configuration and you can see that here which is vCenter Orchestrator we just start that and once that's started we can actually start up the the, the configuration wizard via the URL you go start programs go down to VMware and you go across up to web configuration once it's started the default username and password is VMware so VMware for username and VMware for password we just log in okay so we're in and the idea here is we, we're meant to have all these items with a green circle next to them so we'll start off with the networking just I'll use the IP address there detects the name and just click apply that's probably the easiest one to do um, network configuration updated successfully so now we're going to LDAP we are going to use um, Active Directory um, we'll just type in the details on my domain controller for my lab so dc1.testlab.local um, type in the root details here testlab and my DC local um, I'll leave these other options blank for the purposes of this lab. The username here we're going to use the at administrator at the domain, so testlab.local, which is the preferred username naming schema here. Um, and we can enter the password. Uh, once again, we've got to enter the details in here. I'll just do it from the root and the VCA admin group. The VCA admin group is one I created a bit earlier so we can actually just go in here and just click search um, and type in uh, VCO which is the name of my group and it's found it there so we just click add and then we can just apply and that's green as well so so far so good and we can actually test the login here um, administrator Type in my password and then we can just hit the, the test button and it's all green and it means the old app is all set up correctly. This is where I had the, my biggest issue was it around the database. Um, I'll just type in some details here where I, I couldn't get any connectivity and I quickly found out uh, first off, I've got to select the the right top of a database server here and it shouldn't be MySQL, it's, it is SQL so I just type in my username and enter my password details and the database is VCO I'll type this in now and we'll just go through how we get this up and running and then just type in the domain name and click apply and these are the errors I was getting and we can see that it's actually not listening so what you have to do is you have to go to Program Files SQL 2005 Configuration Tools and then Configuration Manager and you just go down to the Network Configuration Protocols and then TCP IP IP addresses and we've got to enter the TCP port here which it listens to which is uh, 1433 and you just click Apply you've got to restart the services for this to take effect so I'll just go to the services area here and I'll just restart the services. Like I said, this is the area that I initially had an issue with um, and after some googling and some great websites out there I could actually find uh, the issue. So now if I click apply you won't have that error and it will have a different error which is in detail to do with the database come find the VCO database. So one of the other things you have to do is install SQL Management Studio Express, which you can download for free from the Microsoft website, and just run it. This is the first time we're running it here. So excuse that dialogue there. Um, once you're in, all we've got to do is create. It's actually straightforward. Just create a database and with no special settings or anything. So okay, we're in here, and you just click 
right click here and turn new database and, and we just use the name that we said which was VCO and click OK and that database is created there so we just go to virtual center here and click apply changes and we should get this gray item says here install database up the top here so we just click that and that does all the configuration of the database so it's all configured so we get a green there now we've got to do the certificate create a new certificate um, for the purpose of this lab and just for something to fill in my test VCO uh, test lab I'll just put that in here and local and that's all ready to go so now we can go to the licensing component and I'll just pause the video I'll enter my details and we should get a green here as we do so that's all ready to go um, Let's go to the startup options. We can see we've got a few things missing here, which is the plugins. Just click that there and enter the username, which in this case is administrator and my password. And we can just hit apply changes. Okay, now we'll go to virtual center here. We've got to actually add the virtual center to connect to so we'll just put in the details here which is vc01.testlab.local now port is default we'll leave everything as um, default we'll just scroll down here we use a session per user and administrator and enter my password and just enter the domain here you can click uh, connection test but the speed of this video I won't okay so we can see we had a, a SSL exception error here so we just go into certificates and we type in the IP address here okay this is highlighted in the documentation I'll bring up here so you can see SSL certificate and just type in the vCenter IP address in that field to import from URL so put the IP address, click import, so that's there. Um, let's have a look back in Virtual Center and we'll just click the um, edit button here okay and just apply the changes Just go through looking here. Oh, I did forget actually we had to restart the orchestrator to get the, the new configurations applied so I'm logging back in now okay so once we're in and we should see the everything go green okay so everything's configured as we were in here before and it's all okay so the, what we've got to do now we just go through some of these all we have to do now is actually add a server so I just double check that everything looks okay here um, in the startup options you have to excuse my run just seems a bit slow uh, we've got to install this as a service as I mentioned we just click this and I'll pause the video one and I'll come back once that's installed Okay, we're back and that's installed. Now we've got to start the service and you can see it's all stopped here. So once again, I'll just quickly pause the video and I'll be back. Okay, now it's in a starting state. Um, and now we're back and I did pause the video and we're back and it's in a running state. So we've configured the orchestrator. So now we can do check is by using the client to log in. Start this up, we'll enter the details of the host and just our username. So it's 
my domain and administrator and the password oh okay excuse me it should be IP address or the host name the fully qualified name so I'll just use the IP address for now um, and then just enter the password and we should, yep we're logging in and we have our lab ready to continue the rest of the objectives under the skills and abilities for VCN orchestrator